Announcement today out of Amherst College. That school deciding to end its legacy preference and expand financial aid benefits for students on campus. Western Mass News reporter Lexi Oliver is live for us in Amherst with the very latest. Lexi. Chris and Jordan, the college says this move will level the playing field for all students who want to study here, regardless of financial background. We want families across the country to know that an Amherst education is within reach. Amherst College making moves to be more accessible to students. The college announcing Wednesday that it's ending its legacy preference in its admissions process and in turn expanding the financial aid benefits it offers to better support students from lower and middle income families. This is who we've been for a long time, trying to figure out how can we best support access and opportunity for our students. And once they're here, how can we really support them well? Dean of Admission and Financial Aid for Amherst Amherst College, Matt McGann, telling Western Mass News that the school will no longer take into consideration whether an applicant's parents graduated from Amherst College. Our process is a holistic process where we look at each student as an individual. So we will continue to think of how each student would be on campus, how they would impact our community right here. Uh, and how they would contribute to that community. Students like Patrick Spohr tell us they think this change will make the admissions process fairer. Uh, it makes sense that they don't get an extra like boost to um, you know getting into the college. I am hopeful that we'll have a more diverse and awesome student body in the future. McGann tells us current students and future students will have access to expanded financial aid benefits starting in the 2022-2023 academic year. $71 million will be invested in financial aid. Under the expanded benefits, the college says about 80% of American households will receive free tuition. And nearly 50% of students will have not only their tuition covered, but also housing and meals. And while students are excited about the added benefits, some say there's still more that can be done. There's often promises that we graduate without having to take out loans, especially private loans are um, especially tough on people like me. Um, I've had to take $7,000 in private loans my first year, and it's a lot. And that's not the only change happening at Amherst College, the school relaxing some of its COVID protocols this week. Coming up tonight at 6, we get an update on the college's COVID-19 cases. Live in Amherst, Lexi Oliver, Western Mass News.